Hello chess lovers, Sloren here and in this video I would like to share with you an interesting game played between Robert James Fisher and Paul Keres. The game was played in 1959 at Bled Sacre Belgrade Candidates Tournament. At the time of this tournament Fisher was only 16 years old and although he was a rising star he was not considered to be the favorite of the tournament. During this tournament against Karo Khan defense, Fischer was choosing two knights attack and he kept on losing. Bent Larsen, who was his second at the time, did his utmost to dissuade Fischer from playing the misbegotten line, but Fischer stubbornly persevered, sustaining one loss after another. In this game Fischer had white pieces and he opened up with e4 and as Keres knew that Fischer is not good in playing against Karokan defense he responded with c6. Here is what Hari Golombek writes. This was the first time I have ever seen Keres play Karokan defense and his choice was amply justified by the inept way in which Fischer treated the whole opening. Shortly after the beginning of play I remarked to Fischer about the high number of Karokans that had been played in the tournament, to which he replied, they are all chicken, they just don't want to face bishop queen bishop 4 against the Sicilian. For those not fully acquainted with the transatlantic idiom, I should translate chicken as cowards, presumably derived from chicken hearted. But what is interesting, although Fischer called Russians chicken, Mikhail Tal twice went for Sicilian against Fischer and managed to beat him. By the way, when Fischer said bishop queen bishop 4, this is the old annotation and with this he means Fischer saws in attack. Let's go on with our game, here we have knight c3 d5, knight f3, we have the two knights attack, bishop g4 h3, bishop takes f3, queen takes f3 and knight f6. Keres writes, this is more flexible than e6 since after the text move the f8 square bishop has alternatives for its development d3 e6 and g3. Keres writes the Fianchetto setup is natural idea but a3 is better in view of the following counterattack. I have to tell you that a3 was Smyslov's idea which he played in the 19th game of the world championship match in 1958 against Botvinnik. Another popular alternative is bishop d2 but in our game we have g3 and as black bishop meets no obstacle we have bishop b4, bishop d2, d4, knight b1, queen b6, the threat is bishop takes d2 followed by queen takes b2, that's why Fischer played b3 and a5. At that time this was a novelty. Keras at once fixes and attacks white's weaknesses on the queen side. a3 and bishop e7, of course Keras is not going for the exchange of bishops on d2, he's keeping his bishop alive and now white is facing some problems with the development of his queen side knight. Bishop g2, a dubious and a very simple move, it was better to play a4 and then knight a3, knight c4, but in our game we have bishop g2, here we have a4, b4, knight d7, white castles king side, c5 and rook a2. Keras gives this move a question mark and he writes, since b takes c5 fails to queen b2, Fischer sets up an unnatural defense. Instead of playing rook a2, it was better to play e5, opening the long diagonal and if knight takes e5 then queen takes b7, but in our game after c5 we have rook a2. The idea is that knight c takes b4 then bishop takes b4 and if bishop takes b4 then rook b2 and if knight e5 then white can play queen f4 and yes white is managing to win back that piece and then can also come after the pawn on a3. But in our game after rook a2 we have castling kingside and later we will see that the rook on a2 will be misplaced and Fischer won't move this rook during the game. B takes c5, bishop takes c5, queen e2, Fischer is preparing f4 advancement which is actually his only chance, e5 and there it goes f4, rook c8, h4. With this move white can activate his white squared bishop, but the weakening of his pawn structure seems too high a price. Instead of playing h4, it was better to play f5 and then g4, g5, but in our game we have h4. Now comes rook c6, bishop h3, 
Instead of bishop h3, g4 looks an interesting alternative, but Fischer proceeds with activating his bishop. Meanwhile, we have queen c7, f takes e5. Again, it was not too late to go for g4, but in our game we have f takes e5, knight takes e5, bishop f4. Already for g4 it's too late, Blake has this knight takes g4 move. If bishop takes g4, then queen g3. And actually after knight takes e5, it was better to play bishop g5. Create problems for black and free this d2 square for the knight. If knight d7, then bishop f4, and then knight d2. And if black captures on f4, white can recapture with a g-pawn. But in our game, we have bishop f4, bishop d6. And now black will start putting pressure on this diagonal h5, Fischer proceeds with his attack, but he is misevaluating the position. It turns out that the one who needs to protect his king's side is white. Here Keras made an interesting move and played rook a5. From the a5 square he's switching his rook into the attack, h6 and knight g6. Queen f3, well if h takes g7 then simply bishop takes f4, black is winning or if bishop takes d6, then queen takes d6, and then the rook will come. This is a total destruction, guys. That's why in our game we have queen f3 and rook h5. The rook is also joining the attack, and white's position is hopeless. Fischer played bishop g4, we have knight takes f4, bishop takes h5, knight takes h5. H takes g7, a desperate attempt. Here we have queen d7. Black both wants to penetrate white's camp and also the queen is coming to support the knight. King g2 and there it goes. Knight g4 is on the board. Knight d2 and after knight d3 check, Bobby Fischer resigned. He is also losing his rook and the game is over. That's why we have a resignation. Chicken or not, Keras managed to play a very nice game. Especially I liked the way he switched into the attack his rook from the fifth rank and managed to beat Bobby Fischer very quickly. Thanks for watching. If you like this game give the thumbs up. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. Also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video. Take care.